Greetings, this is Bernice from The Ring Lord. I just wanted to do a really quick video here to show you how to find some of the extra detailed information we have on our site for particular products. To show you uh, some of the information, I've opened up the page here for machine cut bright aluminum rings. And you can see where you are here by following the links that are called breadcrumbs along the top. So I'm already in the machine cut bright aluminum rings the top here you can see some details and then there's a link to show you some extreme information about the materials. For our purposes I'm just gonna scroll down to the 12 gauge rings. So all of the 12 gauge rings are inside this one box and I've changed my screen resolution to help see everything a little bit better in this video so it might be a little squish compared to your monitor. But along the top we see that this is indeed 12 gauge bright aluminum and right underneath that is a really important piece of information. This is the wire diameter in decimal inches and millimeter. Now there's two gauge systems out there. There's standard wire gauge and American wire gauge and that's also listed here. For a lot of our products we use standard wire gauge. For some we use American wire gauge and your supplier if you've ordered from a jewelry supplier before or perhaps a hardware store could have been using American wire gauge or standard wire gauge and just to avoid all the confusion I highly recommend that you do have a look at that decimal inches and millimeters and perhaps just shop using that information. On the right hand side of any listing we will always have the selling unit and perhaps some other information there. In this particular case these rings have been made and then run through our bagger and this allows us to basically pick your order really quickly. We just go to the bin and grab one bag for you. These bags are bagged in 200 rings per bag and this is an approximate count. It's done by weight. Right underneath that information you can see that it says machine cut. This is a link that takes you to a page describing the difference between machine cut and saw cut and hand cut. If this were a saw cut ring that would say saw cut there. You can just click on that link and it'll take you to the page and give you a lot of information to help you choose which particular type of cut you would need for your product and your projects. Underneath that is usually ships in so many business days. This particular one because it's a bagged product is one to two business days. That one to two is actually a clickable link that will take you to a page describing our preparation time and give you some information that you might need if you have a deadline and how to get your, your order in time to meet that deadline. This first um, product underneath, these are all ring sizes based on the 12 gauge. And this first one here is out of stock. You can see that there's no stock in the stock column. It says zero and it says out of stock over here and it won't let you buy it. And There's a link there that says click for restocking details and if you click that it'll take you to our restocking forum on the Ringlord forum and you can look for this particular category there and people may have asked when this is going to be in stock and will answer so you can have a look there for information if something has a problem or has a scheduled restock date and is something that a lot of people are asking about we'll put the information there so you can just click there to get a quick answer on when something's expected. Now to read our product codes for any of our rings the first two numbers are always going to be your material. If the ring is a saw cut ring, it'll say SX in front of that. But in this case, it's AB for bright aluminum. The next two are always the gauge. So this is 12 gauge, 1, 2. And then the last numbers are always the inside diameter. So this is 3 quarter inch. Down here we have AB12516, which is bright aluminum, 12 gauge, 5 16 inch inside diameter. In the next column we show the statistics. The first thing that we show there that I'm drawing your attention to with the orange text is the actual inside diameter. We don't list the mandrel size that we use to make the rings. We list the actual inside diameter of the ring after it has been made. A lot of places will sell you something like a 15 or a five millimeter ring or something like that and they're not telling you what that measurement is whether or not that's the actual inside diameter 
outside diameter or the mandrel size. We list the actual inside diameter as measured from a sample of rings for this particular batch. We list it in the decimal inches and in the millimeters. You can use this information with the wire diameter to calculate the aspect ratio and that's what we've done here. This is a clickable link to show you what aspect ratio means and how to use this information. It's a very useful tool and it's worth having a look if you're not familiar. Right underneath that in this particular case is the number of pounds per bag. So this is a 200 ring count bag and this particular bag has 0.38 pounds in it. You can use that information to help figure out how heavy your end project is going to be. The next column, as I said, is the stock, and the selling unit is right here. So this is the stock in bags. This one was out of stock. This one here has 227 bags in stock currently. The last column is always going to be the price, unless the price is listed for the parent product, in which case it would be up here. That's how it would look if this were um, a product that had several colors. So if this were say an anodized aluminum and all of the items on here were simply colors, then the price would be up here. So this is the price per selling unit, which is bag. The price listed there is the base price. There's an orange link underneath here. It says show mix and match savings and stats. And this is a really good one to play with for any of the products on our site. If you click that link, it will expand the listing and show you more information. In this case here, it will always show you this mix and match savings, which I'll get back to in a moment. And then it'll show you some more statistics. For rings, it shows you the approximate rings per square foot for European 4-in-1. So if I were to make European 4-in-1 out of these rings, it would take about 416 rings to make one square foot. These rings are 200 rings a bag, so I know that I need at least two bags to do one square foot. For scales, the information there is different. It might show um, the thickness of the scale. For clasps, for jewelry clasps, it will show the size of the wire that the clasp will hook onto. All very useful information and it's worth having a click there. For all of the products, it will also show you any discounts that are available. And these are clickable links here. We've got mix and match savings. The link takes you to describe exactly what that means. Um, wholesale it takes you to tell you about the wholesale program and customer rewards points takes you to a page describing what uh, rewards points are and how to use them. Just briefly what you're seeing here is we have um, several thousand products on our site that can be mixed and matched to get you volume discounts or mix and match discounts. In this case here, if you're over $100, you can save 10%. Over $250, you save 15 And over $500, you save 20%. And this would be the price if you reach that saving level. So I'm going to minimize this by clicking that there and just close it up. There's one last piece of information that I want to show you in the statistics column here. And that's this area here that says bulk. And if I hover over it, basically it tells me that if there's a common item that we sell, that is a common ring size. We'll have it in bags that we've already made for, for quick packaging, but we'll also have some bulk available. And if you order a larger quantity, in this case over five ba 15 bags, we'll package it in one large bag. So we'll go to that bin and we'll weigh out the number of bags that you want and we'll pack it in one bag and send it to you that way. And that's always an option for you for anyone that has that note. If you don't want that option, you can always tell us in the comments area that you would prefer to have them in the individual bags, which is your call and it's perfectly fine. So basically for any of the items on our site, you're gonna see a very similar layout. You're gonna see orange text, maybe drawing your eye to something that I want you to see or something that you can click on or hover over. You're going to see units in the upper right. You're going to see prices on the right hand side. Um, you're going to see extra information in this area. You're going to see statistics in this area for the particular product. Always again, try this drop down if you need more information. And if you need some stock information, click here for some details. I hope this helped you figure out um, how to get some extra information on our site. Thanks for watching.